Okay guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to unlock the Pack-A-Punch and I'm going to show you all the items that you need to unlock every single ritual and all the ritual rooms. So we're going to get into this. The first part is do you need to use a monster right there. I use the monster and you break that right there. And you don't need to do this, but you break that. And now the most important thing, I electrocute the that. And the most important thing is up. So you're going to look up and right there, you're going to have to sling yourself up there with the grappling hook. But unfortunately, when you're when you're a monster, you cannot open doors. So I had to get out of the monster state and then get out and then become a monster here. And you can do the whole step with one. So right here, this is where you get the item. This is the first item right there. That right there will unlock a box. And then this is where you open the ritual room. So you go up here, you go run down. You're going to run, just follow this path that I'm following right now. And as I go there, you have to electrocute that one way. And that causes a room, this room, to open. And that room is right up in the first room where you spawn. So now I, sp I get, go back into human form, and I run over here, and I pick up the item that the box fell through the crane. That item will be used for the ritual room that's in here. And this ritual room is for the magician. This one is the magician, and I just picked up a quick revive because there's going to be some zombies spawning. Another thing, too, is whenever you pick up an item, you, there's going to be two witches that are going to spawn. You just, they're easy to kill. They're just like, they're like, I think a little bit less than zombie health. So you'll be fine. So kill that guy. And then I run up here, and as I'm going here, you have to place down all the items. And there was that one item, the feather. So that's where you get the feather. So now there's going to be a bunch of zombies that are going to spawn. Or witches. The witches are going to spawn and all you have to do is really train. You're just going to train for a little bit. Don't die. You're just going to run around, move around a little bit. You don't have to, you don't, you ha just, it's good to stay in the room. You don't have to kill the zombies because you get, you get a little bit of points. But when you kill them, they spawn again. And it's better to just train like that. So as you do that, the thing's going to come down. And you're going to get the worm. The worm So This is the first part for getting the easter egg. For getting, <laughs> not the easter egg, the pack punch. Now there's four worms. Okay, so that was the first one. We're gonna run out. All you gotta do is just run out of that room. Second item for the second place is right here. It's right here in the in the waterfront district. You're gonna need a few points for the waterfront district district, but it's okay because you just run out here, you go this way, and as you can see right there, I did not have enough points. But it is okay, you don't need to open that door. All you have to go back. Is to, all you have to do is go back to the other monster place. And then you do the grappling hook right there like that. You do electricity. You do electricity again. So shooting that electricity, it opens up that gateway right there. So you're able to run down. Then you look a right. You look up. Use the grappling hook. And you're able to smash that box right there. When you smash that box, that causes the item inside the box, which is the belt, to break open. So as you can see, I pick up the belt right there, and I'm off to go to my ritual room. So I did that whole step with only one monster. You only need one monster for that step. The witch is going to spawn again, unfortunately. And then where we're going to go is that room right there. So that little that room right there. So once you get a few points, you're able to open that door. And every single time you open doors, I think you get a few points anyway. So it's pretty nice. You don't need to use that monster spot. All you gotta do is go down here. So use a monster there. You just go down all the way down in the waterfront, the water alley. You go to that room, you open it. And how to open doors is you press, how to smash, you press the analog. It's a right analog stick. You press down. So as you go down here, all you're gonna do is really just run around again. It's, it's a kind of tedious process, but you're just gonna run around to make sure zombies don't kill you. And you're gonna be set. Now another thing to mention is that when you do two of these ritual places, ritual rooms, uh, one of the big guys, Mogwas, are going to spawn. So just keep that in mind. Make sure you have a pretty good weapon for the second time you do it and the fourth time you do it because they will spawn and they will try to kill you and you have to have a good weapon to kill them. How to kill them is just you shoot the eyes. They have three eyes or three heads and you just got to shoot the heads. Don't shoot the body, just the heads. Now the third part is right here in the room that is called Foot light district every single district can be accessed through the foot room of the map which is where the crane is right when you enter this one you can become the monster you cannot grappling hook right from there you have to go a little bit to the left as you can see right now i'm running to the left and then you're able to actually grappling hook grappling hook is rt 
So you're able to do that. You run here. What I'm doing right now is just for the perk. That is for the perk, and that's just to walk in that area to get the mystery box. That's not really important, but what is important is running and jumping right there. That is where you're going to have to hit the box, and that box contains a hairpiece that you're going to need for this ritual room. So you pick up the hairpiece. Hallelujah, we got the third piece. Now all we got to do is run to the second room of this district. Every single district has two main rooms to it. Oh, I did not have enough money to uh, open the gate to the second room. So I had to kill a few zombies. I killed a few zombies here. And then there I am in the second room. Now in the second room, there's going to be a grappling hook right where the fancy huge uh, club is. you got to become a monster. Right RT to grappling hook up there where the club is. Electrocute that and that opens a door. You become a human again and you're able to run back there. The door is open and you can just walk right through. So you get into this club. You got to uh, get in there in order to put the items into the ritual spot. So this is the third area. We are almost done. You place, hold X to place it. Hold X again to start the ritual. And the zombies start to spawn because they're thirsty for human flesh. And you just got to train again. You just train every single time. I recommend training. If you're low on points, shoot a little bit. I did shoot a little bit there and I actually gained a lot of points. But try not to kill zombies to start the next round. Because you're able to actually do this in pretty early round. As you can see, it's already round 7 and I'm almost done. So now the last area is for the cop. The crooked cop is in the canal district. Right here, all you got to do is open up. You take a quick right to the monster place. You become a monster. You go down where the water is. You break that. Then you break the second one. Then you have to take a... You follow the canal and you take a right into this area. Electrocute it. You make sure to electrocute it. And then you're done for that part. So you just... Right now, I'm just kind of chilling out here. Running around. And then when you become a human, you were able to pick up that item. So I become a human. I'm running down. You, all you got to do is just follow this path to run down and pick up the item that's right there. Unfortunately, I missed it right there. So I'm going to attempt again to get it. I got it there. That is the badge, the detective badge. And as you can see, I kind of did it out of order and I died too. So yeah, don't die, guys. It's not good to die. Now, the ritual room for the detective badge is in of course the second room of the district like every other ritual so you go up there you have to make sure to open that door right there so the way to open it is you have to become a monster again so you become a monster you just look up and there's another grappling hook so you use the grappling hook to fall down and you just kind of follow this path i was kind of unsure where it was because this was my first time doing this part so i was kind of like searching around making sure where it was and i found it right there so i used electricity to open up that gate and the pathway and then boom the last ritual you become a human you run up you're almost done you run up there you go into this this cop hood I don't know what this place is you can see I did this at round seven so I could have packed a bunch at round seven and that is yeah that's pretty early especially for other types of zombie maps you usually don't start pack a bunch until like round like 12 or something so people say it is pretty difficult. The only difficult part is knowing where all the items are. And I have another video that's going to come out where it just it just shows you every single item and how to know where every item is. And you get the achievement beginning of the end. So it's a pretty cool achievement. Now we got to figure out where is the Pack-a-Punch room. Now the Pack-a-Punch room is right where the badge was. So you have to go down to where that badge was. You go to the canal district again. You go down to the tunnels or down in the water area. And that little room that we opened up. You hold down X to open up the pit, and then you walk into it. And you make a quick left into this room with all the symbols on it. The symbols represent something for the Easter egg that I don't know. It Somebody's going to figure that out. Symbols, something has to do with the Easter egg. But basically, for the pack punch, all you got to do is run up here. You don't have to push any buttons. Just run up to the wall, and it will open up. Now, you have the four worms. So you got to place the four worms on different little stands. So you place the first one on that stand. You place the second one on the other side. And it's pretty straightforward from here. It's probably the easiest part because all you got it's a pretty good uh, training spot actually. It's one of the best training spots. So you can easily make trains and kill a lot of zombies here. But you do a wall run. This is pretty cool. You do a wall run right there or you could do it on the other side, doesn't matter. And you run up and you place the last two right here. So boom, boom, and then you got to wait a little bit. Some zombies will spawn. You just got to wait for the little thing to go. Boom, boom, you're just running around right now. 
And then what happens is the pack the pack a punch is a little bit different from the normal looking pack a punch. Now when everything's ready, you hold down X right there, and the last one's gonna go there. And then boom, you have those different beams shooting towards that middle area. Now more witches will spawn. And I have the haymaker, and I decided to actually pack a punch the haymaker just because I don't know. I kind of want to try. It. Somebody said that the haymaker was pretty good, so I decided to try it out. It's it's all right. It's pretty good. But it's a pretty early round, as you can see, it's only round 9, and we're doing that, and then once everything kind of blows up, you're going to see everything's going to blow up and it's going to say Apocalypse, then that's when you're able to pack a punch. So you go back to that area where all the beams were shooting at, and it makes this little portal area that actually works as a pack a punch. So it's pretty cool, you place it down there, turn around, there's going to be some zombies. Some more zombies, zombies spawn everywhere, you know, it's, you got to just be careful with that. You run over, you get it for 5,000 points, and boom, you got your pack a punch gun. I like the camo for the pack a punch gun a lot. I, I really like that fire lava style. I enjoy that, and I heard that you can also pack a punch multiple times too. So that's pretty cool that they allow you to pack a punch multiple times for different types of characteristics in the gun. So that's pretty cool. That is a tutorial on how to get the pack a punch, guys. A uh, monster zombie will spawn, and these guys, they're not too tough. Honestly, if you know how to kill them, they're not tough at all. You just gotta shoot the eyes. Shoot the mouth eyes, and you're fine. Don't, don't shoot the legs, don't shoot the body, just shoot the three mouths that they have. And then you're gonna be able to see, I killed them pretty quickly. But I, had, I did have a pack of punch gun. And then that's, you're set to go, guys. So thank you for watching. Please leave a like, share, subscribe. See ya, peace.